Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you doing? So, yarny related, but also not yarny related. I just decided to do a little extra video. Um, if you're interested, if not, I'll see you in the next one and that's totally fine. But I have very recently got some happy mail uh, and a gift from um, Heather from, um, I wanna make sure I get her name right. Oh my God, I'm doing it again from Heather's Knit and Crochet Nook. I needed to read it off the box while I still had it because I don't wanna mess that up because this is an amazing gift. And if I mess that up, I'm gonna be really mad at myself. <laughs> um, I need to like write down just a sheet and keep it here because like I do it with Kay. I think I may have done it with Bella before. I don't wanna do it with Heather. I don't want to do it with anybody. I don't want to do it with anybody. But, um, like, I'm sitting here knowing people's names. Obviously, their names. But, like, then their channels. And out of my mouth just comes the wrong thing. I don't know what my problem is. But, I don't know what my problem is. Anyway. Um, if you watched my Happy Mail video, you saw that I got this amazing tarot deck. Which I'm a very big fan and collector of tarot decks um but where the yarny related content is is this is actually and i opened the outside this is the yarn tarot deck um it says it is for crocheters knitters spinners and weavers so there's a little bit of everything in here uh it says the yarn oh the side says the same thing the yarn tarot for crocheters knitters spinners and weavers um, let's see. It says, The Yarn Tarot infuses the much-beloved Rider Waite Tarot deck with four different yarn crafts, crocheting, knitting, spinning, and weaving, complete with a 78-card tarot deck and introductory booklet. This kit will delight, enlighten, and empower anyone who loves yarn. It is illustrated by Katie Ponder. And then on both sides, um, there is the picture of this I took him as a policeman I guess just because he's in blue but this motorcyclist and there's even a little sheep <laughs> there's two sheeps because that's the chariot there's two yes the black and the white I got it I'm following okay so we unwrapped it and it comes with this sturdy, it's sturdy box, like all the way around. It's not, it's awesome. And like, here's the, um, for the spinners, the drop spindles of yarn on the back. There's knitting needles here. There's crochet hooks here. And then there is maybe a tapestry or a finished knit or crochet product or a weaving project of some sort but there is yes, a pentacle um not a pentagram there is a difference so inside is the deck and this is a book a hardcover book mind you oh, yeah and there's the book The yarn tarot. There's even a ball of yarn on the back. And then, sorry, my chair is very squeaky. So here's the new pristine deck. Okay. Um, let's look at that first. So here's the back of it. So we've got a bunch of different, like there's a yarn ball in the middle. There's more spindles with um, roving or whatever on them. And then there's knitting needles and the, the tapestry here and yarn balls. Um, and then like the stars that are in tarot and um, there's a crochet hook. Just very yarny backed cards um i mean i 
I can show you all of them, or I don't have to. I guess we'll see how long. But for, like, the major arcana, like, here's the fool, and he's wearing a sweater, and his little dog is wearing a sweater. <laughs> and they do follow the rider weight. I mean, this one does anyway. Like, follows at least the suggestion of the rider weight art. Because in the rider weight picture, the um, the fool is on a cliff. He's basically about to... He looks like he's about to take a step off of a cliff, whereas this fella is going to take a step from a higher, higher ground from a tree trunk because <laughs> um, the fool is about taking like a new journey, a leap of faith kind of card. So that's what this guy is about to do. <laughs> um, and then the magician. <laughs> There's the magician. And there's all the tools in front of the magician that they need for working their magic or that are in their hand because I see they've got that in their hand also. And um, also with the Rider weight deck. So these are these do seem to be uh, holding true with the Rider weight uh, depictions to a point. Like it's not the same picture, but uh, they have the same like symbolism basically uh, because the magician is about... Uh, manifestation and uh, making things happen and um, forward progress and having the things at your fingertips like the the tools at your fingertips of what you need to change your destiny or to change what you need to be changed which that's what's happening right here <laughs> it's very cool very cool I don't have to go through and tell you like if you're probably not interested in everything um, what all the card meanings are or anything, but here's the high priestess and the high priestess is holding a yarn ball. <laughs> the empress has gone out shopping, it looks like. Getting yarn. <laughs> here's the emperor with his throne and his throne is some sheep. <laughs> The Hierophant has got some yarn balls. Yarn balls, and it looks like his uh, outfit is made from, is it's a sweater, like it's a knit sweater. And then, oh, the lovers are modestly covered in the right areas, so that's appropriate. I wasn't going to like, because <laughs> some, in um, some of the Rider weight versions, like the original version and everything, they're nude. <laughs> But the, the lovers are appropriately covered. And there's the angel behind them. The angel's heart is knit. <laughs> and here's the picture. There's the chariot. <laughs> and the strength card for right for the writer weight version, uh, original version, uh, the chick is petting a lion. So we have the orange cat, and the cat's got a yarn ball. <laughs> Even the hermit, instead of holding up his regular lantern, he's holding up a yellow ball of yarn. <laughs> and um, the Wheel of Fortune usually has uh, the different signs of the zodiac on it. And it looks like it has some animal representations. Oh, wait, it's the world that usually has that. So it still does have animal representations on this wheel. It has the, it has a sheep. It has a sheep at the top. And then there's a fox and a snake, and um, there are coordinating yarn balls on it. <laughs> Sorry, I mixed that up with the world card. Justice has got, she, it looks like she knit herself a suit, a business suit at that. <laughs> Even the hanged man has got, he's uh, actually... Is he hanged from... No, he's not. He's tied up there. I was going to say, are those knitting needles? <laughs> no. 
But he's even got a ball of yarn. Death has got a knit cape. <laughs> Temperance has uh, got drop spindles. <laughs> the devil's slaves are appropriately covered and it looks like he's got them bound by yarn. <laughs> oh no and then the tower which is um a card about a uh, sudden upheaval or um it's not always it's a change a sudden change an unexpected change which a lot of people view as bad it doesn't always have to be bad i'm just saying but um <laughs> It does have people falling out of the tower in this instance, and they're they're in sweaters, and oh no, they dropped their yarn balls. <laughs> I guess that could be considered bad. <laughs> the star, instead of pouring water, she's got yarn in her hands. <laughs> Oh, the moon. The um, two dogs are sitting between a yarn ball. <laughs> and then in the sun, we have a crocheted cape. And the middle of the sunflowers actually look like yarn balls, too. And I believe we have knitted clothes on the judgment card, and they are all holding up yarn balls. <laughs> and here's the world, and we do have all the signs of the zodiac represented, the four, the four elements, basically, um, represented. Sort of. It's not the elements, though. It is, they're representing it with, I see Virgo, Taurus. So there's a representation from each group. Um, and then uh, there's a lion for Leo. Um, and then the world is made of, the wreath that is usually on it is made of yarn balls and skeins of yarn. <laughs> and I won't... Um, I won't go through and talk about all the major... That was the major arcana. I won't go through and talk about all of the minor arcana, but I'll just show you some of the artwork for it, like, and see if, like, all the cups so far have spindles. Like, like the spindles are the cups, maybe? The cardstock these are made out of is even nice cardstock, too. I mean, these aren't like chintzy, flimsy cards. These are nice. They're really nice cards. <laughs> I like that. I mean, Ten of Cups is a good card anyway. I promised I wouldn't talk about all the minor arcana, but I really like that one. <laughs> and yeah, it does look like, obviously, by now, if we can tell, all the um, cups seem to be the spindles. And then the pentacles are the um, tapestry, so like the weaving. They even got the miser. <laughs> so they're doing, they're doing pretty good, sticking to the. Um, in my opinion, they're doing pretty good sticking to the rider weight idea for the cards.
Okay. And then this... <laughs> okay, so the swords are, like, in this one, since it's singular, I guess, the sword is a knitting needle. I'm just not sure. Like, they might be... Presumably, that's a pair of knitting needles. And those are all knitting needles. So I don't know if they'll all be knitting needles or if we're going to throw some crochet hooks in here too. Oh, I bet... I bet I know the crochet hooks will be next. Betcha. So these are probably all going to be knitting needles for swords because they're sharp. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. He's ready to charge in there, huh? <laughs> yep, okay, so the wands are the crochet hooks. If you guys are familiar with tarot, you'll, I'm assuming you'll probably know why I'm giggling at some of these because they're so, they're so accurate, but there's definitely like a cute yarny spin to them. I mean, obviously, even if you don't know tarot and you're still watching this video, um, there's obviously a yarny connection with them, but uh, the way that they connect is... <laughs> It's cute. It's really cute. <laughs> Some of them are, um, I don't know, they strike me more than others do. I don't know how to put it, but like they just strike me as cuter or funnier. But uh, some of them really do have me tickled. <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. I'm definitely not laughing at them. <laughs> And then this one is like the back of the card in two different kind of colors, just like a filler card, I guess. And on this one, it has the back of the card and this side says, open yourself, trust your intuition and cherish the journey. And as far as the cards go, that is the deck. And then for the book, like I'm not going to read the whole book, obviously, but it's like a nice hardcover book. And inside it'll have... Um, it has a little depiction of every card. So just like, for example, if we were doing a tarot reading, and I'm not mixing them all up right now, but I'm just going to, like, if I am doing a one-card draw, and if I were to randomly pick this one, and it is the Queen of Cups. Like, yes, I know what the Queen of Cups means, but say, say we don't, and this is what you need your little book for. So you come into your book and you find the suit of cups, which is right here. And oh, it also tells you in here, which is pretty cool, because I was going to mention when I saw the crochet hooks, because a lot of us uh, on this channel are crocheters, um, that if you're a fire sign for your zodiac sign, the crochet hooks are wands. You might resonate with that more because the fire signs are the wands in tarot um but it, it's there's a little chart that says like cups are the element of water so for if you're looking up your queen of cups cards say you draw that for like a daily just a daily tarot pull it would say they're the element of water um the area that of effect are for cups are emotions imagination and relationships um 
and then you can look up the actual queen in here. And it says um, there's an upright and a reverse meaning. We we drew it upright in this instance. And it says you'll benefit from the intuition of a sensitive woman, nurturing and expressive. She chooses her friends carefully. Follow your heart to find lasting happiness. Embrace your creativity and listen to your dreams for meaningful direction. So if, oh, and there's like little keywords even. And it says intuition, intuition and sensitivity. So like if you aren't super versed in tarot and just are fiddling around with it or just learning it or just picking it up or even just picking it up because you like the yarny aspect of it you could um learn a little bit of it from this book so just thought i would just thought i would show you it and kind of give a little review of the deck and it's super cute and i really do like it and um i love it actually and i'm going to uh I'm going to definitely be like using it in some pulls. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's a nice hard little box. So I can store it right there. And so thank you. Thank you, Heather. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, like I said, if this wasn't... If this wasn't your kind of video and you're still watching, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, I will see you in the next video. So I love you guys. You know I love you. Um, I will talk to you very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>